Good morning, shalom and greetings all of you. From where you're watching me from is Prophet Atiro of the Grace Christian Church International and the Pastor Philip Odongo. I greet you this very hour, this morning. I believe that you are all doing well and that the Lord has kept you so. Welcome to our divine path. And this morning, I want to speak about spiritual expansion. The Lord desires you to expand spiritually. It should also be your desire as a believer that you expand spiritually because this, there are levels that God wants to take you. And this month of walking in faith in God, the month of faith in God, it, it should be your desire that you expand spiritually. And then how you will expand spiritually will open, will make an opening to your expansion in the physical. But there are things that you must know. There are things that you must know how to engage them. How do I expand spiritually? What must I do for me to expand spiritually? My spiritual life has been stuck my life has been stuck in very many years for quite some time, but what must I do for me to expand spiritually? The very first thing that you must do as a believer and you want to expand spiritually, ask God to increase your capacity. You must, as you wake up this morning and you go into prayer, as you are praying and asking God to lead you in the day, please ask him to expand ask him to expand to increase your capacity the capacity of your knowledge the capacity of your territories the capacity of everything that you have been holding let's look in the book of first chronicles chapter number four and verse number ten the bible says and judges called on the god of israel saying oh that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my cost your hand might be with me, and that you will keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. You hear this? So Jabez was born in a family where, and he, he actually was named, his name is after the suffering of, her, of his mother. The mother endured and lived a very tough life. And it came a time that when he, she gave birth, she named his son Jabez. And Jabez struggled. There was no expansion in, her, in his life. There was no breakthrough in his life. All times he encountered struggles, turmoil, hard times. He asked of the Lord to increase his capacity. You see, he says in his word, God, I ask you that you will enlarge my tent. You will enlarge my place. So ask the Lord to increase your capacity. Do not be comfortable. Do not just be feel okay with the area that you are right now. Maybe it is squeezed. Ask him to increase the capacity of your knowledge, the capacity of your finances, the capacity of your territory, so that you will continually expand. And it says here that the enemy had grieved him for quite some time. So it is the work of the enemy to make sure that you are not expanding, you are not growing, you are not increasing. Nothing is working out for you, and you cannot win that unless you ask the Lord, you engage the Lord, you ask him, God, please increase my capacity. So this morning as you wake up, ask the Lord to increase your capacity. And why must you ask him to increase your capacity? It is because you do not want to dwell in the same area for quite some time. Number two, charge out of your comfort zone. You are asking God to increase your capacity because you want to charge out of your comfort zone. The area that you are right now, be it in business, be it in your job, be it in your marriage, anything that you are doing, it might have become your comfort zone. You are comfortable with the little things that you see, with the little business that you see. But ask the Lord that when he increases your capacity so that you charge out of your comfort zone. It so happened with Abraham in the book of Genesis 
chapter number 12. Let's go there quickly in the name of Jesus and God will bless you. Uh, Genesis chapter number 12 verse 1 to 2 says, Now the Lord has said unto Abraham, Get thee out of your country and from your kindred and from your father's house unto a land that I will show you. And I will make you a great nation and I will bless you and make your name great and you shall be a blessing. Now wait. If you get out of that comfort zone, if you get out of that place that you are, if you ask the Lord this morning to expand, to increase your capacity, so you get out of your comfort zone, so will you see the blessings. Let me tell you, you will not see the blessings of God in an area where you are, just where you are comfortable with. You feel like it is okay for me to be here. No, the enemy wants to sabotage your future. He wants you to dwell there and feel like it is okay. Things are not moving, but you see, you comfort yourself that it is okay. Get out of that area. Get out of your comfort zone and march forward. Begin to move in faith. Begin to move. Ask the Lord that God, I'm get me to a new area. I am tired of being in this area for quite some time. I just want to move forward. And the Bible says, and God commanded Abraham to get out of his comfort zone. You know, Abraham was comfortable with where he was. The gods of his father, everything that was happening within their locality. But God told him now, I want you to get out of here so that I can bless you. And it says, the moment he left and went to a land that the Lord showed him, then he became a great nation. Not just a person, not just a household, but a great nation. And the Bible says, he became a blessing. Number three, as you wake up this morning, the Impress the miracle of thinking big. Impress the miracle of thinking big. You know, you are of God. You are not of the earth. So impress the miracle of thinking big. And when you begin to impress the miracle of thinking big, the Lord shall surely walk with you, increase you, show you greatness in the name of Jesus. As it is in First Corinthians, First Corinthians chapter number 2 and verse number 6 the bible says chapter 2 verse 6 the bible says how did we speak wisdom among them who are perfect yet not the wisdom of this world nor of the princess of this world that come to us but we speak the wisdom of god in a mystery even the hidden wisdom which god ordained before the world unto our glory. So we are of God. We think with the mind of God. So impress the miracle of thinking big. And the Lord shall bless you. Shalom. As you walk out of your day today, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord increase you.